Hello to all fans of physics and physical experiments. This is Andriy Shetnikov with you. And just today, I received a letter from our subscriber, Ivan Kovalev, who recently filmed a very beautiful video featuring a most intriguing experiment. By the way, the short version of this video has already reached a million views, tons of comments, and people can't believe that something like this is possible. Now let's take a look at what's happening there, and afterwards we'll discuss it just as Ivan asked us to. In this experiment, Ivan drops a steel ball bearing onto a steel anvil, and the ball bounces perfectly vertically on it, without deviating to the side at all, as if something is holding it on that vertical line. And some people wrote that there must be magnets involved here. But it's clear that there are no magnets here. Instead, Ivan notes this absolutely correctly. There is a small, almost imperceptible indentation on the surface of the anvil, which formed from its long-term use. At first, I was thinking about how I could recreate this experiment here, but I couldn't find anything suitable. So I told myself, but we have the Algodoo program, and now we'll just go ahead and model all these phenomena in it. And I started by releasing a ball inside the hollow sphere from a height equal to its radius, just slightly off center. According to the model's conditions, there is no energy loss upon impact here, and we can see that the ball's motion immediately became chaotic. And it seems that it will visit the entire lower half, bounded above by the horizontal diameter. After all, it can't rise any higher due to the law of conservation of energy. In the second experiment, the ball is released from a height of 0.7 times the sphere's radius. The motion is chaotic again. There is no focusing at all. And it seems that our situation hasn't improved in any way so far. And by the way, I don't know what to attribute these strange jumps of the ball into the material of the sphere to. Let's hope this is due to drawing errors, not calculation errors. Test 3. And now the ball is released from a height equal to half the radius of the sphere. You can see that the situation has changed dramatically. The chaotic motion has been replaced by regular motion, and the ball's trajectory is not at all going to cover the entire area available according to the law of conservation of energy. With each new bounce, the ball jumps from the right half to the left, or from the left to the right. And perhaps this is a convenient criterion for the regularity of its motion. Let's reduce the starting height to three-tenths of the radius and the ball's focusing becomes even more pronounced. It bounces near the vertical diameter of the sphere and does not deviate from this diameter at all. And it's clear that in the original physical experiment, the radius of curvature of the dent was quite large and the ball was bouncing at a relatively low height. So the conditions for focusing its motion were met. I want to thank Ivan for the excellent material. When you send us material like this, we are very grateful to you. Well, the problem itself raises various questions. For example, what would happen if the indentation the ball is bouncing on is not spherical, but angular? Would the ball stabilize inside such a recess? No, there is no characteristic vertical scale here. And I launched the ball so that each time it jumps to the other side. But look, this inverted parabola and the vertical takeoffs, they keep shifting to the right and to the right. Let's wait a little longer, and it looks like something irreversible is about to happen, because the ball will hit its own side, and as a result, it will bounce far to the left. Well, let's wait a little more. So far, everything is repeating itself. Just a bit more. And now the ball falls onto its own side again and flies out of the boundaries of the test platform. 
And thus, this kind of computer simulation gives us the opportunity to engage with the rather complex problems of stochastic dynamics and to gain some understanding of this science. And now I would like to say goodbye to you. Leave your comments. And thank you for your attention. Music